In the name of the Lord Jesus, Praise the Lord, this is Bishop Ernest Johnson. Welcome to another edition of Jesus is the Answer on Gina TV. Right here we have the famous, renowned Dr. Faison, Dr. Ronnie Faison. Say hello to everybody for us. Hello everybody, it's a great pleasure to be here. All right, we're here at TBN today. Today is gonna to be McClendon. It's gonna be so many different uh, preachers here. Earthquake Kelly is gonna be here. Pastor David Horn is gonna be on the show tonight. And so many other people that I don't know of yet, but we're gonna share it with you. We're gonna share this experience with you today from the, from the uh, headquarters of the Trinity Broadcasting Network, founded by Paul and Jan Crouch in 1976. And we're going to be on a live Praise the Lord tonight. What do you got to say about that? Uh, all right. I believe it. All right. He's unbelievable. It's fantastic. So stay tuned for this powerful broadcast today where we're going to lift up the name of Jesus and give the winds a mighty blow where Jesus says, Jesus heals. Jesus is coming back again. Receive the light of the glorious gospel. 
And just in the last few moments, some lights came on. I want you to hear me, sir. That thing that you've been unable to break, it's not just habitual. It's not just hereditary. Yes, there are some physical manifestations when you're in drugs and addiction. There are physical things that the body begins to crave. But behind that, there's an unseen operation many times. And it's demonic. Those habits that you cannot break. Those hobbies that you come cannot on, get. Come on, come on. Those things that are playing in you in the night, that fear that continues to come against you. I am telling you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, there are devils and demons and spirits behind us. But we come now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, and we take a fall over this land, over generational oppression, over cancer, over persecution, over the right to be.
would like to, I would like for you to settle down and pray for this oh. young man. Glory to God. Do you know how to pray? Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can, can, I, can I just say something before you pray, man of God? Yes. I, I just want to. I just want to. I just want to say this. I'm, I'm asking for your prayers because I hadn't planned on preaching that tonight. That was not what I planned on preaching. Uh, uh, and and I know you know when you get into that realm, you know, all the devils come out, the critics and all that. Yes. But the Holy Spirit told me in that moment. Yes to alert the church to the reality of this realm because we've forgotten this and we're not casting out devils anymore oh, yeah. and we're trying to psychoanalyze and, and psychotherapy everybody and, and I believe in that I've got a clinical psychologist on my staff and I want you to hear me the devil is real demons are real and we are the only ones that have authority over this and we've got to start dealing it in the name of Jesus so I'm asking you to pray for me because I know I just exposed him and he doesn't like it and I'm not afraid of him either. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch, touch right now. Father, you sent this message for a reason. Oh God, we ask that you would continue to use Have mercy on us, Lord God. Bishop Lord McClinton. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, keep him covered under the blood. holy name. We're on the grounds of the Trinity Broadcasting Network coming to declare, amen, that we have one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, one God who is above all, through all, and in you all. If you want to be saved today, the Bible says that number one, you've got to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. You've got to believe the gospel, which is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which is the life, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Also, the theme of the gospel of Jesus Christ now is that he's coming back. And Jesus is coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or any such thing. In order to be ready, you have to hear the gospel. The Bible says, how shall they hear without a preacher, and how shall he preach except he be sent? Amen. you got to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, and then the Bible says to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. And once you believe the gospel of Jesus, then you need to repent. Amen. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2, verse 37, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall I do? Then Peter said unto them three things. His response 
after they preach the gospel, their hearts were pricked. When you hear the gospel and your heart is pricked, your next question is, what do I do? And the Bible says the next thing you do is three things. Number one, you repent. You hear the gospel, you're moved by the gospel, you're moved by the passion of the Holy Ghost, and then you repent of your sin. And the next thing is to be baptized, water baptism, just like in this fountain, in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? What do you get baptized for? Just to open show that you're a Christian? No. You get baptized in the name of Jesus for three reasons. One, to take on his name in marriage. Jesus is the groom, the church is the bride, and we're going to be ready for the marriage supper, so we're going to take on his name, which is Jesus' name, number one. Number two, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin, the removal, the washing of your sin in the name of Jesus, because the name of Jesus is like tide, it gets the dirt out. Then the third thing, he says, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And how will you know when you have the Holy Ghost? Acts 1 and 8 says, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. Amen. Power to be a witness unto your home, your family, your friends, your neighborhood, and to the uttermost part of the world. Acts 1 and 8. And then the other way that you know that you will have the Holy Ghost is you will have the initial physical sign of speaking in tongues. Oh, da, 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 my son, da, you'll see. I'm excited about being saved and sanctified. Then there's four things that you must do. Amen. Four things you must do after you re are baptized, after you repent, after you, after you believe the gospel, you're baptized, I mean you repent. Let me start over. You believe the gospel, you repent, you're baptized in the name of Jesus, filled with the Holy Ghost, according to Acts chapter 2, verse 38. The next thing that you need, is to do four things. The Bible says they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, or the teaching. You need to be taught. The second thing is the Bible says they, could, they broke bread. That means they ate together. They fellowship. And the Bible says they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, breaking of bread, fellowship. You need to be in a church where you can be saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and where you can be taught, where you can get the milk of the Word and the meat of the Word. And then finally, you got to have a prayer life. They continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, breaking of bread, fellowship, and prayer. And when you continue in those four things, the next thing the Bible says, and fear or respect from God came upon every soul. And the Bible says that when that came, came upon every soul, many great signs and wonders were done by the hands of the apostles. If you want to see miracles, you want to see healing, you want to see deliverance, you want to see great breakthroughs, then you have to have those four things. Continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, breaking of bread, fellowship, and prayer. From those things, you will gain the fear of the Lord, and from gaining the fear of the Lord, you will go on, amen, and see the great wonders of Jesus Christ. So if you want to be born again today, pick up the phone, call your neighbor, call a friend, tell them, I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. And we'll lift up the name of Jesus, we'll show you, we'll pray with you, pray with you to get the Holy Ghost. I don't care where you are in the world, you can call us, we will pray with you over the phone because God is there to fill you. God bless you. Amen. And this is Bishop Johnson. Let's enjoy the day today at TVN, the Praise the Lord program. Go ahead. Oh, you were good. Yeah, okay. That was a good show. Shake his hand. It's the same. Excellent job. Excellent job. Excellent job. You pass. Thank All right. You. Thank you. All right. Bless you, man. So proud of you. Thank you. Bless you. Okay. 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 <laughs> we have to talk. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, I want to. I want to make sure that they have to come. Thank you. They didn't have to come. Shut down.
How'd you like the show? How'd you like the word? Speechless. All right. How'd you like the word? Phenomenal. We've been playing church too long. That's right. Say that again. We've been playing church too long. All right. How'd you like the service? How'd you like the service? I loved it, sir. I loved it. We were blessed tonight. This was an anointing night. What did you get out of it? I'm glad I was here. I've been in the book of Mark. I've been talking about those devils. Reading Mark chapter 3, verses 15. That we are walking in God's humility. Laying on hands. Casting out devils. You say that. And speaking in tongues. And All right. preaching. All right. <laughs> well, how'd you like the service? It was awesome. One of the best shows ever. Right. What did you I get out of the word? I learned how it shifted. and started power here. over every devil. Yes. God bless you. All right. Yes. Vernon Johnson. Nice right. to meet you. Nice 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 to meet
Well, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Another successful broadcast at TBN. We had live praise the Lord around the world tonight. We saw Bishop Earthquake Kelly. We saw Clarence McClendon, who hosted the show. And my God, did that man preach under the anointing and power of the Holy Ghost tonight. And God gave me answers that the church needs to get back to its spiritual state and understand that what's happening in the spirit is what's affecting in the natural. We're trying to put our kids on drugs. We're trying to put people on psychotropic drugs. But it is time for us as saints of God to cast demons out. It's time for us. See, the Bible says who whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Demons are in our children. Demons are in our people. And now we as the saints of God need to rise up and take authority. And did you hear that revelation? Revelation, amen, that um, McClendon shared with us tonight. He said that when man is fallen, he's below the angel. But when man is in Christ, God gives him authority over fallen demons. He cut that out almost. They lost their estate in heaven, which means they lost their living place in heaven. So they have to get in embodied. They have to put get in a body in order to function. But the only way that they're going to be cast out is the saints, the preachers, us. The saints of God need to get back into a place of prayer. Get back into a place of spirituality where we, amen, can get above these demons and cast them out and send them to the pit of hell from where they belong so our children can be delivered from drugs. Our little babies can be delivered from psychotropic drugs and alcohol and, and all these sicknesses and diseases that are caused by the devil. I'm excited tonight. I'm leaving here fired up tonight in the name. Jesus. Oh, saints of God, I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm just excited about the move of God. So here tonight from TBN, this is Bishop Ernest Johnson on behalf of all the saints, the partners and friends saying to you, no matter what your problems are, from the Trinity Broadcasting Network Studios, where Jesus is Lord, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God who's above all, through all, and in you all, and his name is Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you next time. And remember, no matter what your problems are, Jesus is the answer. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. What inspires you to be the success that you are? It's a blessing. God has truly, truly blessed me. I, and I, I, don't, I didn't forget where my blessings came from. I got a good family, good people around me. And that's why I'm where I'm at today. What's up, this pretty boy, Floyd? You watching Jeter with Ernest Johnson, the one and only. Thank you. Praise the Lord. This is Bishop Ernest Johnson inviting you to come to a miracle move of God this Sunday morning at the Jesus is the Answer Apostolic Church. We're located at 25100 South Normandy Avenue in Harbor City, California. Come on out if you need healing, you need deliverance, you need to be saved, you need to be baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. I want to invite you to come on out to the Jesus is the Answer Apostolic Church. 25100 South Normandy Avenue in Harbor City, California. Join us this Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And Bible study is Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Come on out and we'll see you there.